All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a crazy start of Battleship Brawlers this round. We have Zerl, Cam, Data, Not Uncool Dude, Nate, Io Silver, and Space Dude all in this round. Uh, cap is 1.5 mil, and that's for both ships that each player has. Oh, look at that. Data's brought a bunch of little nuke things. <laughs> Nate doesn't like the shit talking. <laughs> uh, Io Silver. It's gonna go straight through the center. Um, I guess he didn't like the people next to him. He's gonna go ahead and try to bully other people. Friendly Fire is on, because I think it's hilarious. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see what's going on. I'm afraid Zero might be AFK, but I wasn't willing to wait around. And we had so many other people hanging out in the lobby, so unfortunately, if Zero gets taken out because he's AFK, that's eh, just, it is what it is, you know? Ooh, Io Silver's other ship getting absolutely evaporated. Yeah, no. Cam taking minimal damages. Io Silver's down to one, oh, down to half a ship. Looks like he lost some of it to this nuke boy. Um. Ooh, yep. There's a bloody nuke battle going on. Meanwhile, Nate and Not Uncool Dude are duking it out. It looks like Nate has also brought a nuke boat to the party. <laughs> There's so many nukes this round. I'm loving it. Meanwhile, let's see what we've got going on up here. Data just pushing people around with his little ships. I love it. I think it's quite hilarious. I do like the little missile swarmers. Man, that is a lot of laser fire. They're not the big lasers though, so I don't think they deal quite as much damage. He's using the other pieces of ship as shielding while he takes out good portions. Luckily, nukes fairly easy to dodge. Not on cool dude slowly taking out this nuke vessel. These little guys up here hanging out getting ready to tow an asteroid around. Cam getting ready to Take out Not Uncool Dude, I think. I'm not sure if Not Uncool Dude is uh, attacking Nate, or if he's just doing flybys, or what's going on. All right, the small missile swarm. Oh, it's coming in, and the guy at the back took out his two buddies. That's unfortunate. That's really, really unfortunate. <laughs> yep, friendly fire is on. Um. Sorry guys, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, nukes are away. I'd say fairly minimal damage. Ooh, more nukes away. Dodges all of them, but manages to take out quite a few missile launchers, I think. Yeah, this whole row here. He's still fighting, surprisingly. Does this even have, oh heavens. Command deck? No, it does not. Cam, still in the fight. <clears throat> Io Silver has been completely taken out, as well as Zero. Magnet. Who was driving Magnet? I don't remember. Data? Almost completely gone. I think he's still running around somewhere. Yeah, he's got this little ship. He's technically not out of the game. His health bar isn't at the 90% destruction mark, but it might be fairly soon if he pulls another maneuver like that one. I think he's trying to do bombing runs on Cam here, but Cam has quite a lot of rotational speed. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's the laser. There's the laser. Run. Are you on fire? That would suck. No, he's not on fire. He's fine. Uh, meanwhile, Nate, running around with his missile boat still, trying to get some nukes off against Not Uncool Dude. Not Uncool Dude, 
also running a nuke boat. Ooh. Dad has taken damages constantly on the razor's edge. Ooh, he got blown up. Probably a nuke I missed. If I had to guess. He's still got a nuke that he's about to launch, though, it seems. Yep, there's one that gets off. Comes around and hits some armor on the back. Not super useful. Uh, not on cool, dude. Taking data for a ride off into the Netherland. Meanwhile, Cam has decided that he wants a piece of Nate. He's gonna go ahead and try to take him out. Meanwhile, Nate's got a lot of nukes. Yep, and that is the end of Cam. Dang. Thanks for playing. I think that might have been the only non nuke based ship. There's so many nuke sticks this round. He's been carrying around a chunk of his own armor for a minute now. I think that's kind of hilarious. Uh, they're right up against each other. There's only three nuke launchers left on this bad boy. But they are getting money shots off on Nate. Nate, however, also getting a few shots off. Going straight into armor, though, so not as useful. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. Not on cool, dude. Uh, he's got a lot of thruster power. I would definitely use that thruster power to your advantage to stay in the circle as long as possible. Um, ooh, there we go. That's a pretty good hit. There's only four missile launchers left on Nate's nuke boat, and there's three missile launchers left on this one. I actually don't... How many... Nuke parts does he have? He's got quite a bit. Yeah, he's got quite a few nuclear parts left. All right. They're both pretty beefy ships. Um, the only issue I see... Never mind. It was going to be an issue. It's not anymore. Oh, never mind. It might be. Nah, he's still fine. He hasn't lost the missile launchers yet. But they're both going to have to launch nukes pretty soon. It's coming down to the wire. Everybody's ship is disintegrating. The red zone has collapsed. Nukes away. And bam, there we go. Not on Cool Dude's ship has been completely neutered. And Nate takes the win. GG's everyone. Thanks for playing. And thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, welcome back, everybody, to another round of Battleship Brawlers. In the left-hand corner, we have Yappy, and in the right-hand corner, we have Zemikomaki. Zemikomaki? I'm not exactly sure how to uh, say that. Lag stabilization. Hmm. Sus. Sus. Oh, it's got a... Yappy's bringing a rail fan. I like the uh, interesting armor he's got going on in the back here. <laughs> a railfan and a, a laser mining ship. All right, that'll be interesting. And it looks like Zemeko has brought, yeah, deck cannon and some lasers to the mix. Some unmanned lasers, of all things. Very interesting. Uh, this mining ship, yeah, I don't think it stands a chance, to be completely honest. The limit is two ships. Um, so he's probably just trying to fill that slot with something, you know, anything, which is fair enough. It is working as a decent distraction so that the rails can try punching through these shields. There's a lot of shields on Zemeko's ship, though. Um, yeah, just a ridiculous amount of shields. EMP missiles flying all over the place. I completely forgot what EMP missiles are called a little while ago, so it <laughs> won't be slightly embarrassing. Uh, I have turned friendly fire off. One of my commenters has suggested that it is unfair for deck cannon ships, which is, yeah, that's fair. So, I'll probably end up leaving Friendly Fire off, even though it is really fun. I'll probably just turn it on occasionally to uh, spice things up a bit, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, 
Uh, you know, it looks like Zemeko has taken out the rail fan ship and the little mining ship. Well, soon to have taken out the little mining ship. And I believe that's gonna that's gonna lead lead him to the win. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. <coughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Another round, same rules. Uh, I believe it's a three mil spending limit that we've allowed. Yappy's decided to bring two rail fans to this party. And Mako Zemeko has brought the same ship as before. Um, yeah, just a couple manning issues. Just a couple manning issues, but nothing too bad. Uh, he's got what appears to be a tractor beam here. Oh no, that's a sensor array. Also unmanned. Yeah, just, just a couple manning issues. Definitely have to work out the kinks on that, but that'll be alright. It's still a fairly effective um, ship, from what I can gather. It just has so many shields to shield everything, even though these ones aren't fully powered all the way. Even though there's runners right here, there's no way out for these runners. They're very trapped. <laughs> That's okay, though. Uh, I think these shields on the end are just slowly going to die, but they shouldn't be super necessary. I don't think. Uh, these railguns, they get more range the longer you make the railguns. Oh, he's got one coming in from the back. Um, did deal a little bit of damage. He managed to lop off at least one engine. Uh, he keeps attacking the shields. I would love it if he tried to swing around to the rear here and dig into this uh, juicy center. Oh, he's managed to take out some of the guns and start a fire in the ship. Very exciting stuff. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be a very close one. This railfan hasn't taken any damage yet, I don't think. But it is dealing quite a bit. Oh, there we go. There's a nice shot to the center. Uh, Zemeko's still trying to take out this railgun ship. I would honestly not focus on this one just because it does not pose much of a threat at this very moment. Um, however, this one still got all of its rails working and the ship has been locked in half oh heavens i don't think zemeko can make it out of this alive oh and yappy takes the win with his two rail shotguns i like it all right thanks for tuning in i'll catch you guys in the next all right welcome back ladies and gentlemen we have a uh, another game <clears throat> another round of battleship brawlers in the left, we have Yappy, back for another round. Io Silver, also back for another round. Xana and Zemeko, all back for another round. Io Silver's bringing in his Wonks deck cannon and what appears to be a Mark I cruiser. Oh, yeah, it's just a bunch of nukes and flak. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Zemeko bringing in a couple base game ships. I like it. Is this? This used to be a station. This is a modified station, I think. I could be wrong. Um, however, this one, yeah, a whole bunch of point defense and a bunch of nukes. I like it. Uh, two mine layers by Xana. Trying to perfect that mine layer tactic. I really would like to see maybe more of a diagonal. I tried to make a little mine layer ship. Um, I don't know. If you can get the mines to land, they could do a decent amount of damage. Wow, it's going to be really hard to keep track of both of these fights. Oh, I didn't look at, uh, Yappy's ships. Yappy! Um, bring it in a couple, a couple mining ships. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we can tell probably pretty well how this fight's going to go. And it's not going to go in Yappy's favor, so I'm going to go ahead and focus on this battle over here so we can go ahead and see these big ships go up against some mines. See if there's any damage to be done here by those mine layers. It appears not. Alright, we're going to focus down here on the battle at hand. Um, yeah, deck cannons versus mining lasers. I guess if you had like a lot of mining lasers, maybe you could make a ship that would, uh, that would just rip things apart. It's a possibility. I know it would be very power hungry. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, Zen is internet connection. Still rough. Uh, he's managed... Zemeko has managed to catch up to one of the mine layers. Or both of the mine layers, I suppose. But he's doing damage to one. That is a big laser coming out of that chonky boy. There's a lot of explosions going on. It looks like he is about to fly into the minefield, though. Let's see how much damage they do. Oh, I see how they do damage. They do damage in, like... A spiral shrapnel pattern coming out, or not a spiral, a circle shrapnel pattern. Interesting. Alright, so the mine layers are doing that. Uh, meanwhile, nukes are being used to take down mining ships. Very effective, you know, that's the way I take down mining ships is with nukes. Um, yeah, Io Silver wins that battle very easily. Um, oh, point defense takes out mines. You learn something new every day. Look at that. Zemeko wary to go through the minefield. I can't really blame him um, very much. I wouldn't want to drive through a minefield either. <clears throat> it's just not something, you know, I think about doing on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> He's just left one of his ships hanging out up there for now. Uh, the nukes are away. The mine ships are getting into position they are fast enough that they're dodging the nukes, however, um, yeah, the stray missiles landed straight on his other ship because of how he decided to dodge, or how he was forced to dodge, I suppose. Looks like he tried to launch a couple mines, but I don't think they're going to get much work done. Uh, they might, yeah, no, they took out a missile launcher. Not too bad, I suppose. The point defense is really doing well. Um, I do think it's interesting that even when the point defense attacks these, uh, they get absolutely eviscerated. Uh, but they explode, and then the shrapnel still comes out of them and does damage. Interesting. Oh, he's driving through part of a minefield. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to do enough damage. I don't think there's enough mine layers on this ship. It needs more mines to lay down. <clears throat> needs to make a diagonal ship. To fit more of those mines into a smaller area. Ooh, I don't think those nukes... Oh, they are going to get off. Look at that. Bam! Ooh, and that is the end of Xana. There we go. Yeah, he's completely down for the count. Now it's just left to Io Silver, who's got both of his ships pretty much untouched. Yeah, no, I think completely untouched against Zemeko's ships. There we go. Alright, game's back up to full speed. And Zemeko is currently trying to take out this deck cannon ship. Uh, he's taking out quite a few of the thrusters. They're now in a spiral of death type thing. There's a lot of lasers on the front here. But man, that is just quite a chonky laser setup. Um, it's cutting straight through the ship. Yeah, and as long as he can... Yeah, manage to, there we go, get a good angle. He's gonna start blowing stuff up like crazy. Look at that. All right, that's a dead deck cannon ship. Let's focus on the battle that's at hand. One of my comments was I miss a lot of the action because um, I'm staring at dead ships. Uh, that's fair. It's because I'm fascinated. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'll try a little bit better to pay attention to the uh, to the battles at hand and not stare at dead ships. It looks like Zemeko is cornering him out into the red zone. Oh, all right. I guess he took critical damage. Um, and Zemeko wins.